In other news, the United States State Department officially rebuking allegations leveled against Israel by the Human Rights Watch NGO. The State Department spokesperson saying that it is not the view of this administration that Israel's actions constitute apartheid, responding to HRW's recently published 216-page report. But where the State Department falls short is in condemning all the other lies and distortions that the report purportedly exposes. Joining me now with more is Vice President of NGO Monitor, Olga Deutsch. Thank you so much for being with us, Olga. I'm, I really wanted to get your opinion on this because there's a lot going on here. HRW claims that Israel is committing the crimes against humanity of apartheid and persecution, adding that Israel had an overarching policy to maintain the domination of Jewish Israelis over Palestinians. How do you address this? I'm sorry, I can't rush off a, a smile off my face because if it wasn't funny, it would be actually catastrophic, right? I mean, let's try to translate to plain language what this really means. Basically, uh, this lengthy report of a so-called human rights watchdog uh, that has been obsessed with Israel uh, for decades says Israel does not have a right to exist as a Jewish democracy. They question the law of return the law of return, which allows all Jews in the aftermath of the Holocaust to acquire citizenship in Israel, right? As a basis for, and I quote, demographic policies in order to Judaize the land, right? I mean, this is what this report says. And based on this, they call Israel an apartheid. Um, it's a lengthy um, uh, report full of propaganda that is only there to delegitimize Israel and to try uh, actually to call for very specific things, sanctions and embargo against Israel and its officials and its citizens, um, uh, freezing assets and going after companies that uh, do business with Israel, all the way, of course, to advocating for a continuation of a trial and a opening a criminal case against the state of Israel in the International uh, Criminal Court in The Hague. So it is... It is much worse than just uh, the claim that Israel is an apartheid. Now, you mentioned, of course, the demonization of the law of return, uh, but there was also some other, some other parts of this report that are somewhat troubling. The allegation that Israel is stealing Palestinian water, that Israel allegedly seized four and a half million dunams of land from the Palestinians, uh, and, and there are many more. Does Human Rights Watch get things right in the report? No, of course not. Um, the, the, it, it is a decades-long propaganda and, and a campaign to portray Israel as a pariah. Now, these motives and, and, and stealing water is uh, one of them. We have seen them uh, over the years, and I have to say that it's only rehashing what we what is known to us as uh, classic anti-Semitism. You know, if uh, once. Uh, uh, Jews were blamed for, for uh, stealing uh, Christian children to bake uh, matzah, right, with their blood. Today, we are, they're rehashing this with stealing Palestinian children's organs uh, to trade them on black markets. Human or, Rights Watch has made that well, Not Human Rights Watch, but there's a group of, uh, of NGOs, of non-governmental organizations who are uh, campaigning against Israel. And we see these motives, light motives, uh, reappear again and over and over again. So it is sadly not a new uh, motive and not a surprising one, but that doesn't make it any less uh, dramatic. At, at what point does Human Rights Watch bring in the Palestinians to this conversation? What agency is the Palestinian Authority and Palestinian governing bodies discussed? Well, that's another thing. They issue a report seemingly on a situation in the region, right, and in, on, in the, on the conflict, yet they do not in any way address Palestinian terror or any of the violations on the Palestinian side. It, it, is, it is a one-sided view of, um, of what they think is the situation here. They talk about uh, systematic oppression of uh, Palestinian rights here without addressing the fact that, I mean, we have a, a, a judge in the Supreme Court in Israel who is an Israeli Arab. We are in the middle of a, of a political situation where an Arab party might decide um, which, uh, what kind of government we will have. One cannot talk about Israel and call it an apartheid. And all the claims, they, they bring up international uh, law um, and, and international conventions, the Roma, Roma Statute. It is uh, a wrong interpretation of all these... Uh, uh, of, the, of, of international law, um, and yet I have no other word but to call it propaganda. And I hope that uh, the State Department will not be the only one uh, 
uh, to condemn it. All right. Olga, thank you so much for, for being with us. Thank you for having me.